When we first thought of it, we thought, listen, we'll get together 40 guys, it'd be simple. Um, uh, it can't be that tough to play a hockey game for 10 and a half days. Uh, some pizza, some drinks, and have a good time. The work that went into it was unbelievable. I mean, thousands and thousands of man hours to put this thing together. Uh, in terms of the impact, I never would have thought in my wildest dream is that 583 volunteers would have stepped up to help us. I never would have thought of the impact it would have had on children in the hospital and then in turn the impact it had on us for them to come out and actually see us and visit us during the game. During the 246 hours of grueling hockey, inspiration to continue on came in small packages. Those days you sit on the bench and you're, you're kind of thinking of your feet or your back and a little girl came up who's had 33 brain surgeries. She's five years old. Uh, so it seems every day there was a moment that kept the players going. Our injuries were insignificant compared to what a little four or five or six year old child was going through uh, on a daily basis at that hospital. So uh, definitely memories that I'll, I'll never forget. As a top 10 finalist for the UFA Small Town Heroes Contest, Alex is recognized as a rural Albertan who goes above and beyond for his community. I'd like to thank uh, the people for nominating us uh, to be part of it. Um, at no time have we ever done, you know, done these events for any recognition. Uh, on the upside is if we do win, uh, we get $10,000 towards a local charity. So I thank the people that have voted and I thank UFA for having a, uh, an event such as this to, to raise money for local charities. With over $1.4 million raised over the 10-day event alone, the 40 skaters from the world's longest hockey game aren't quitting anytime soon. I've never put a picture that uh, you know, I would have been a small town hero in my, my town of Chestermere. We do it because we want to do it. Uh, we never ever did these events uh, for, for any recognition at all. A year to date we've raised about $2.4 million dollars. Uh, for local charities in the Calgary area. And we're not about to stop whether we win or lose a, a competition. And hopefully we do win because we obviously want the $10,000 to help out uh, children in, in the area. For Shaw TV, I'm Alana Nolan.